speaking of actors, you're probably thinking about what should I be for Halloween? And that's, that can bring on some tough questions, especially as a parent when you're thinking about what to take your kiddo as to school. Some of us may think that this is a Cyclops or Mike Wazowski's girlfriend, but just to give you some idea to get the creative flowing, uh, this was actually one of my Halloween looks as I went into grade school. Now, I did do a couple other ones that'll show maybe throughout the month, but for now, just this is how we could start our Tuesday together. Maybe that's what you look like waking up on a Tuesday. I'm sitting right there with you. You know, it is Tuesday morning and as we head out the door, it's a chilly start to the day. So grab a jacket and a warm cup of coffee. We've got 46 in Boise, 44 in Caldwell right now, 33 for my friends in Stanley and 35 in Ketchum. So 30s and 40s continuing on the board as we make our way into the afternoon. We've got upper 50s and 60s area wide looking a little bit warmer for my friends in Glens Ferry, 66 here and then also as you make your way up towards Ontario, 64. But either way, it's another cool afternoon afternoon ahead. So if you love fall, then you're going to love the day ahead. Now we do have this approaching cold front coming in as it does. It's currently making its way past Seattle, Portland, going to start shortly heading into Eugene and Medford in a couple hours. But for us, this will bring on cooler temperatures, a gusty winds and also a bit of rain and snow. So if you've been hoping for that, maybe you've been doing the rain dance at home. Well, we've got some on the way now. As far as our cooler temperatures go, that will affect us into our Thursday. So tomorrow is going to be similar to today, except once that cool front arrives into our Wednesday evening and early and Thursday morning. That's going to bring us down to those 50s into Thursday. We'll really go back towards the 60s, looking a little bit warmer into Saturday as we approach that 70 mark. But either way, we are starting to see some 50s back on the board into Monday and Tuesday of the next work week also. So that just goes to show you that October is bringing its cool friends with it. And as it does, we're going to take a closer look at this cold front coming in. Now, today remains pretty nice and dry. We do see a few clouds linger throughout our central mountains, but waking up tomorrow, that's when we'll start to see the biggest difference. Now this is by 8 a.m. and notice that the whole area overcasted. So don't expect to see much sunshine tomorrow, but what's going to happen more so is this front is going to organize at by 2 o'clock, bringing us showers as early as 1 p.m. Now it stays salt over those areas just a bit, bringing us some rain showers and some snow, and it really doesn't start to make its way towards eastern Idaho till about 7 o'clock earliest. Now that'll eventually clear out and that'll give way to some clear skies over the weekend, but as we head into McCall Wednesday, 20s to start the morning here through the week with some 50s coming your way. So just pack the umbrella and jacket and keep it with you as we go into the next couple of days. We are expecting to see about two to three inches of snow as you make your way up towards these areas. As for us, though, it's looking pretty quiet and calm on this forecast. Maybe a shower or two into tomorrow with drier trends by the weekend and upper 60s. I am looking at that rain too into Sunday and Monday, but I'll keep my eyes on that for you as we head through the week. For now, we're going to head on.